go. Please install. Now when you need to change the pulley, you simply take these five screws off and replace the pulley itself. You could go to a smaller size, a bigger size. This will change your boost setting. See, right now this is a three inch pulley, so you should get on a stock supercharged engine, you should get about 10 to 12 PSI. The lowest you could go is a three inch pulley, which will give you 17 PSI. And then you could go to a 2.8, which required a snout to be turned down to fit the pulley on. With a 2.8, you probably get like 20 pounds of boost. I don't recommend you go with a 2.8 because it really spins the bearing excessively. And um, you could damage the bearing like that. So I would require the lowest you go is with a 3 inch pulley, and then you could do other modifications to make horsepower. Now another thing is on this supercharger, oh by the way the PCV valve is located under this cover, you remove these two 3 8 bolts and you take the PCV valve. This over here is called a boost bypass valve. It is very very important to fuel mileage. This basically relieves the supercharger from operating through this secondary port right here. See that? See how the port flips open? Well, when you start your car up, the first thing you should see on this actuator is this flap should go like this. And it should stay like this all the time and idle. Now when you put the car in drive and you apply power to the gas pedal, this valve will slam shut, allowing the supercharger to compress air for the engine. Once the supercharger meet operation temperature or cruising speed, this valve will retain itself back, allowing the supercharger to free load, not making it work so you can have bypass air into the engine. You have to understand, if the engine is spinning the supercharger with this valve closed, it's taking horsepower from the engine because a supercharger consume horsepower to make horsepower. Now, once this valve is open, it does not take the engine any horsepower to make horsepower because of the bypass valve. Anyway, so it's important that this valve work. This valve is only functionable when the car is in reverse. This way it won't apply any boost. And when you're in highway cruising, So that's it for M90.